come from Jerusalem. We're here at the home of archaeologist Gabi Barkai. Hi, Gabi. Thank you so much Hi. for hosting us in your home. First of all, shalom and shalom. welcome. This uh, summer, I celebrate my 70th year in Jerusalem. Since my childhood uh, in Jerusalem, uh, which was very different Jerusalem than the city today, I was uh, wandering around. And in my, in my wanderings, I collected uh, finds, all kinds of finds, uh, coins, uh, pottery, and uh, other stuff. And I was uh, intrigued by the question, who were those people who used them? Uh, living in Jerusalem uh, immediately connects you to uh, uh, the uh, ancient inhabitants of the, the place. You, you realize very uh, quickly that you are not the first to walk upon the uh, streets uh, you are not the first to look around, uh, and these landscapes were actually formed and got shaped by people uh, who were here before you. And uh, the biblical heritage is also very clear. Every step uh, of mine upon the uh, landscapes of uh, Jerusalem, uh, being on an archaeological dig, and touching objects and uh, exposing uh, houses which nobody else uh, saw for several thousands of years, uh, it is very fascinating. Was there one particular find that is outstanding? Yes, of course, I'm coming to it. Oh, sorry. Uh, with the burials, we found also seven uh, rock-hewn caves artificial caves which were used for burial in first temple period in the 7th century BC. Underneath one bench which had six headrests in a row, uh, there was a repository for collecting the bones and burial gifts of the deceased. In that repository underneath the uh, bench with the six headrests, uh, we found a surprise. Among the finds in that repository, still in the, in the dirt, uh, a, an object which looked purplish. It looked very interesting. I didn't know then how interesting it is. It was a tiny rolled up plaque made of silver, 99% silver. When it was unrolled, uh, it was covered densely with ancient Hebrew characters. Meanwhile, we found another object of the same nature, uh, which was only one centimeter in size. When it was unrolled, it was a plaque of about uh, five centimeters. And on it, very surprisingly, there were 19 lines of writing in micrography, in uh, minuscule characters, again in Hebrew. Uh, the first word which I uh, deciphered was yud hey vav hey, which is sometimes anglicized as Jehovah, uh, or uh, the name uh, of the Lord, the tetragrammaton, uh, or the unpronounceable name of God, uh, the name which appears in the Hebrew Bible whenever uh, the English has the word the Lord. Now, when I realized that there is a triple repetition of uh, the name of God, I immediately understood that it is the priestly benediction, which appears in the uh, Bible, in the book of Numbers. The uh, two tiny silver objects became thus the oldest biblical verses that we have in uh, the world. Uh, they are 2,700 years old. They date back to the 7th century BC. And uh, it is of utmost importance. If you had to sort of take your, your lifetime experience and, and the significance of archaeology and maybe sort of um, send a message moving forward, what is the significance of archaeology today? Archaeology is the proof that uh, we were here. We were here before. 
and we were here, and it is uh, something that supplies me with deep roots. Archaeology is a kind of uh, uh, a connecting link between the remote past and the present, beyond any doubt. Gabi, thank you so very, very much. Blessed be. Amen.